Hi everyone, welcome to the Project Corner. Today I would like to talk about baselines. Now I received an email from Dominic, one of the people that are subscribed to the newsletter. And in it he says that one of his projects was put on hold until 2019. And he would like to keep the original dates that he used for forecasting in order to have a good record about what the new forecast was in comparison to the actual dates. So let's head over to Microsoft Project where I created a simple schedule and obviously this schedule will be available for you if you subscribe to the newsletter. And what you want to do is you would like to have these dates set in stone. Now that is exactly where the baseline comes in. And this is a baseline basics. There's a lot more that you can do with baselines, but let's have a brief look at two of the tables that you have. These two table, well, tables, columns that you have, baseline start and baseline finished currently are set as not available or, or not applicable. But as soon as we click on project, set baseline, and we click again on set baseline, there's this little menu and without going into too much detail, there's a lot of baselines that you can set, but let's just go with the basic one where I set baseline for the entire project. And as soon as I do that, these dates are now set in stone. Very cool. So now I can change the original start date of the project to 2019. Let's head over to the seventh because we won't work in the first week. Click on OK. And now my current forecast or schedule or actual schedule is set here in the start and the finish date. And the baseline start and the baseline finished are still in November, which is exactly what I wanted, right? I can even hide those fields. There's a, even a nice view that you can use, which is called the tracking end to give you more information about that baseline that you set. It's down below in the Gantt chart drop down menu. If I click on tracking end now, I will see these gray bars here, and these are the actual baseline schedule that you had. So if we click on entire project and we zoom out just a bit, we said that, see that we originally started in November, but the whole project moved into January. So let's say that you have phase one completed Let's say we have phase one completed and we don't, don't want to move the whole schedule, but just part of the schedule. So let's have another baseline. And let's move the design phase. So I'll move this one to January. I'll say yes, move the task and start at 7 January and keep the link because the link really was there. Now I get this nice constraint date, start no earlier then. I can do a whole video about that. I won't do that now. And here you have your new schedule. And moving in again to the tracking end, you will see that the original schedule started here and the baseline is equal to the actual schedule. And our new schedule ends in March, where our original schedule would have ended in January. So that's it for baseline, uh, baseline basics. Let me know what you think about this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And consider subscribing to the newsletter or at least the channel. Thank you very much and see you in two weeks.